In this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your website for speed in WordPress. So right here you can see this is my personal website. If I go to the page speed insights and if I show you the results that I got, you can see the performance is 49% for the mobile and for the desktop it is actually 93%. So for the desktop it looks just fine but on the mobile this doesn't look good. So if we scroll down here it gives you some of the reasons why your website loading is very slow. So here if I expand this thing that says eliminate render blocking resources you can see we have a lot of many CSS files that are loading along with some jQuery files or the JavaScript file we also have some Google fonts file here as well in this video I am going to show you how you can tackle this eliminate render blocking resources in order to speed up your WordPress website so if you are interested in learning how you can fix or resolve this eliminate render blocking resources thing in your page speed insights results then without further ado let's get started now so before we actually start the video i want you to understand that whenever someone type in the url of your website in any of those browser first of all your html files and the css files and the javascript files gets loaded and then they get displayed on the browser so in order to fix this render blocking resources issue you need to understand what things are affecting this particular thing. So in my case, uh, I have a lot of these CSS files that are coming from the theme that I'm using and a jQuery file that is also coming from the theme that I'm using. And some of these CSS files are for the WooCommerce as well. So if we go back to our website and if I click right click here and if I click on view page source here you can see this is the source of my website now you need to understand these things carefully uh, these may seem difficult but these are not very difficult so here you can see a lot of this csi css that the theme have is not in line so if we make this css in line that will drastically reduce the load speed time and then if we go down here you can see we are using some jquery on the theme as well so we need to tackle this jquery as well now here is another thing a lot of these wordpress themes nowadays and most of these page builders also use the jquery so whatever you do whatever changes you make on your website in order to improve the speed of your website just keep checking your website and make sure it doesn't break anything if it breaks that if it breaks your website you need to revert to the state where your website was working fine so with that being said let's just start optimizing the website so the first thing that you want to do is to go back to the dashboard of your website and once you will go to the dashboard of your website you want to go to these plugins and inside of these plugins you can go to add new plugin we are going to use a free free plugin and let's just search for cache here and once you will search for cache scroll down until you will see this plugin auto optimize click on the install now button and once you will click on the auto uh, install button click on activate to activate this plugin once you activate this plugin what you want to do is to go to the settings of this plugin now let's just go back to the page speed inside so here you can see we have some google fonts that take this much amount of time 900 ms and then we have some of these scripts and the CSS files that is taking more than a second time to get loaded and in total it takes more than four seconds to get loaded so we need to address all of these things so let's start by addressing these scripts that you are seeing right here so once you will go to the plugins settings here you will see all of these options by default activated so let's just go through these options one by one and let me just show you which options are good for your website in what scenarios so first of all where it says optimize javascript code make sure you check mark this option so that your javascript code will get optimized now you also need to exclude some scripts from auto optimize and those scripts are for jquery files that are responsible for all the interaction on your website or the animations that you use on the website so on my website if i scroll down here you can see this rotating text this is actually working because of the javascript or the jquery and if i scroll down here you can see i have off offset slider 
and this slider is also uh, working because of the jQuery and if I disable this uh, jQuery or optimize the code for the jQuery both of these things will stop working so I need to ensure that I do not optimize the jQuery files that I have in my page source so in my page source or if we go back to the page speed inside you can see right here it says jQuery.min.js so you will have to go to the auto optimize options and where it says exclude scripts from auto optimize you need to type in jQuery.min.js so that anything that is working because of jQuery should keep working and rest of the things that are working on JavaScript will get optimized. You do not need to aggregate the JavaScript file because, because if you are using a lot of JavaScript on your pages, what this plugin will do is to aggregate all of that JavaScript, uh, JavaScript code and create a separate files for that. And once it will create a separate file, whenever someone will type in the URL of your website in the search bar and they will hit enter the browser will first of all try to execute the entire file and in some scenarios that aggregated file becomes very large that it takes a lot of time so you need to avoid that thing so here we will just um, uncheck this aggregate javascript file and will not activate this thing because we don't actually want to aggregate javascript files so next up uh, if we go back to the page speed inside you can see we have some css files here as well so we need to address the css files as well so by default you will have this option or optimize css code and once again you have this option aggregate css file this time click on aggregate all linked css files and then in here also check mark this where it says all to aggregate inline CSS and generate data URLs for the images. Just check mark this thing and do not check mark this also aggregate inline CSS because this is exactly as what I explained you regarding the JS file. So for, it will create a separate files for the CSS and whenever someone will request your website from the browser, the browser will have to work extra hard to execute this entire file. That is why do not activate this aggregate inline CSS. But if you activate this aggregate CSS files, here you can read it says aggregate all linked CSS files. If this option is off, the individual CSS files remain in place, but will be minified. If you will turn this off, all of your CSS will be minified just like this. But we actually want to use this option here. And then you have this option where it says eliminate render blocking CSS. Now here, if we go back here we have an error of eliminate render blocking resources uh, render blocking resources and render blocking css are two different things you can learn about these things by simply clicking on this uh, link here and it will take you this critical css so i'll go back here and here i'll activate these things again and if you want you can inline all the css as well so let's just inline all the css and then you once you will activate this thing here where it says aggregate css files once you will activate this you will see these new options here so in these new options what you actually want to do is to remove this wp dash content slash forward slash uploads because you don't want to get them aggregated here you only want to get the admin bar and the dash icon and the wp content cache aggregated and then you have this remove unused css thing here next up we have the html option so in the html options here you can see it says optimize html core and it is uh, enabled by default so keep it enabled and next you have also minify inline js or CS, css you can enable this option here and if you want you can keep html comments or if you want you can disable it just the way they are and then next up we have this option save aggregated scripts or css as static file the same thing here we don't actually want to keep the aggregated script or css files so i'll uncheck this option here and then next up we we have minify excluded CSS and JavaScript files so that uh, whatever the aggregated CSS or JavaScript file we will generate because right here you can see we enable this option to aggregate the CSS files so whatever the aggregated CSS files we will generate will get um, will get minified here apart from those that are excluded so next up we have enable 404 fallbacks 
just enable this option here or you can disable this option because these are for the 404 page or the 404 errors and then you have also optimized for login editor or administrator if you want to optimize for the login users as well you can optimize from here and then you have this options to enable configuration per post or page so we actually want to enable this option for per post and per page and then if you want you can disable extra compatibility logic now by applying all of these things that i have applied you can go through all of these things here you can take the screenshots these are all the settings that i am doing and then you can click on save changes and empty cache now that it gets applied let's just go to our website to see if everything's working fine so here you can see the website is loaded and if i scroll down you can see this is working fine and then i have this uh, off canvas carousel it is working fine as well so I think everything is working just fine. Now we can go back to the page speed insights. And if I click on this analyze button again to let it analyze our website again. So now you can see here are the results. I get 40 again. So not to worry about this thing here. We are only looking at these scripts and the jQuery files. You can see all of those scripts, the CSS files and the jQuery files are removed. And now we only have jQuery.min.js that we excluded in this part here that we excluded in this part so we just want to exclude that thing and i'll go back and save these changes again now if we go back to the space field insights you can see we have some render blocking resources because of the fonts that we are using so in order to uh, tackle those fonts you can click on this extra tab and in this extra tab you can choose this option that says combine and link deferred in head just enable this option so that it will combine all the google fonts that you are using on the website and then it will defer their execution then you can also remove the emojis you can also remove the query strings from here you can also remove the wordpress block css if you are using page builders like elementor dv or bricks maybe you can then check mark this option but if you are using the gutenberg based editors uh, for example cadence then you don't actually want to enable this option just do this thing and then you can click on save changes and now if we go back to the page speed inside and let's just analyze this thing again so here you can see the score has been improved now it is 70 and before it was 40 and here if you go to this option you can no longer see that option that says eliminate render blocking resources so in this way you can fix the eliminate render blocking resources that you see in page speed insight report i hope you have learned something useful from this video if you have learned something useful from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video